Welcome to Toledo Sports Network's coverage of high school football. Mike Jamison along with Marty Bin tonight at Rossford High School. And as you can see behind us, the, the new school is starting to look pretty good. A lot of a lot of work still to be done, but on the field, Rossford's been putting it together. And Marty, uh, I think we got a good game tonight. Very, very much a clash of different styles. You get kind of a smash mouth, run it between the tackles style for Genoa, and a kind of a wide open attack for Rossford. So it's a, it's a, it's a clash of styles. We'll see how it shakes out. Well, you know, you and I both, uh, we've talked about Kromenecker and not a lot for uh, Rossford and his ability to really get the ball down there. The receiver's got to get there. Yeah. Well. I think we saw a couple weeks ago in the Genoa Elmwood game, you know, a quarterback that can fling it around, but Genoa really tightened up the defense other than one series and their secondary played well. And if they play well tonight, I think they'll, you know, make close those windows down and make it tough. Well, you you, you said it too. Uh, Genoa has the ability to run the ball. Gomez and a few of the other guys that are just able to, you know, take two and three yard runs and turn them into 10 yard runs are first downs that you just never expected. Well, and they, when you control the chains and you shorten up a game on a team that likes to run it wide open, it really takes away those opportunities and then it puts the focus on converting third downs and making some big plays. And I think that's what it's going to boil down. Can Rossford make enough big plays to the grind out attack Genoa has? And we'll see. I'll tell you, it's our first cool night of football tonight. Oh, this, is, this is football weather. This is this is when you get the extra layer on, you get the pad strapped up, and you go hit somebody because it's it hurts a little more and it feels a little better. Uh, it's going to be a great one tonight, right here on the Toledo Sports Network in thirteen point two. <laughs> Good evening, folks, and welcome here as we get ready to start this game on CW13. Toledo Sports Network's proud to bring you high school football here. Mike Jamison along with Marty Ben. We got Jay Williams on camera tonight, and uh, hopefully all is well with everybody. Marty with Fairway Mortgage, uh, uh, you're you're away from saving people money right now. Oh, man, this kid, we got to have fun doing this There now. you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you, you know I can't get away from football. I think people, you know, people always laugh at us because they're like, Mike, you guys have so much fun when you're up there doing a game, you know, and that's a good thing. That's what we want to hear. It, you know, if you if you love watching young kids have fun out there playing football. Uh, look at the guys on the Dog Nation out there. They're uh, they're relaxing. They actually have a popcorn popper out there. Well, so I'm a little envious because that yeah. looks like the perfect deck. You got the popcorn popper. May or may not have some libations. I mean, what a better way to watch a football yeah. game than from the, your own deck with a uh, adult beverage and some fresh popcorn. Exactly. 58 degrees right now. Wow. No mosquitoes. See, that's the good thing. Oh. No mosquitoes. So uh, we're ready. And no to rain start in the this. forecast. It looks perfect. I'll tell you what, uh, this game's a toss-up tonight. Both of these teams handled Elmwood pretty well, and uh, and it, it's kind of a tale of two uh, two games here as Rossford's going to take the kickoff. Trevari with it. Oh, he's out to the uh, – oh, we oh, got a fumble. I think the ball's on the ground. I think Genoa may have this, Mike. Ooh. Yeah, starting off with a fumble right here. That is a tough way to start the game. Uh, and I think if you're Genoa, you you know you love having that short field go down and get an opportunity to put points on the board on the opening drive. You know what we saw right there too, and he, I mean right up the middle too, right up the middle he took it, and uh, now uh, well let's see, I'm going to get on the clock for my first royalty check tonight. That was uh, Sam the Toe Wit on the kickoff. <laughs> the <toe. laughs> I, don't, I forget what that cost me per mention, but I, I'm with you. I'm going to run the that. tab. First and ten. Nice swarming tackle there. Not not much room on that. That's Bachmeyer again for Genoa, and and that's someone we've we talked about a lot in the last couple of games we've done with Genoa, where Bachmeyer has been able to really open up. Got a, he got a yard out of it. Well, I think if you're Rossford, you know what's coming. It's just a question of execution and. You know, keeping the right number of guys in the box to shut it down. Is this almost like a, 
are, are we talking like a, just a constant run, 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 uh, which is what this – yeah, there's Bachmeyer again. Well, that, you know, that was a great set. They uh, split a guy out wide here on the right side and uh, got the matchup they wanted moving the safety and then got the edge on the outside. Nice 9- or 10-yard gain there. And that's something, you know, a lot of guys had to uh, – oh, that was – oh, that was Gomez. Looked like uh, Bachmeyer to us. Uh, you know, with losing uh, Novotny, it was really a, a, a tough problem for uh, Genoa. And being able to – Gomez and Bachmeyer to, uh, to be able to do what they've been able to do, uh, they, they, they've handled it quite well first now. Great camera up there with Jay Bird. Nice job. Again, good straight ahead run. Great lead block there. The uh, right tackle cleared out a nice hole, and he got up inside there and followed it and kept the pad square. A 22, that's Cutler. Cutler is a ball carrier for the Comets, brought down by number 19, Lucas Potts, and number 54, Gavin Linkus. Gain of about five on the play, second down at five. If you're general, this is exactly how you want to start a football game yep. like this. You yep, know, yep. Control the clock a little bit. You know, now here we're back to that wide, wide right formation. Now, last time they ran around the left side, Rossford's got a guy flexed out there, so that's not up. Oh, oh, great that's... little counter inside. Linebacker, that's linebacker made a heck of a play there because that was open. Hole what? filled quickly, but it good good look mixing it up from the last time out of that formation. And you know we 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 we've talked about it, but uh, Ray Gomez is that guy. He's so he he's such a he's not a really big guy, but he's so quick and he's the breakaway guy, and he's the one that's going to take a two or a four yard gain and turn it into thirteen or twenty three. Twenty four. Nothing there on third down. So now you got a decision to make. You got the ball right in the middle of the field. You've got a very accurate kicker. You're probably looking at about a 33-yard uh, attempt from there. Doesn't look like they're hesitating. They're going for it. Wow. I'm a little surprised here. I'm not. That's that's Genoa. That's Genoa football. They've uh, they got a way of doing that, and uh, they they'll pound it and they'll pound it. And uh, well, it's not two yards in a pile of dust anymore. It's two yards and a whole bunch of turf BBs. Yeah. <laughs> Run it up All inside. I don't think he got that, Mike. I I don't think so. No, they where they've got it spotted. Rossford's going to take over on downs. Wow, great, great job right there with. Uh, I didn't call that a pack of dogs right there. Now I'm hungry for hot dogs. There was a uh, there were a lot of. Uh, Maroon jerseys in on that tackle. Well, and, and, and something I think you're going to see, too, Genoa has been really testing the middle right now, testing, testing, testing. And, uh, and, and now, you, now I think you're going to see Gomez taking it outside a little bit more. And uh, still haven't seen a pass, correct? No, not, a, not, not out of yet. Genoa. I, I don't think they favor the pass. I think I can safely say that. Kramenecker has been able to throw the ball. Is it, It's the accuracy and getting the guys because – he set formation for uh, one back in the backfield, four wide. Nice little, oh, oh big on. gap in the middle, gaping hole, gaping hole. Wonderful, wonderful run. I think he could have taken himself and three or four of his friends. Oh, yeah, that exactly. I've got to apologize. I was calling 24 Bachmeyer, which was Gomez on the other team. I apologize for that. When you get everybody purple, I, 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 I just get a little messed up there. It's Great right. job by Bachmeyer. Giving it to him again. I'll be second in about seven, but I'll tell you what, he uh, he's able to take nothing and make it something. Well, you know, when you're able to run the ball successfully, they're going to have to bring an extra guy or two in the box, and that's going to open up the passing game. So yeah. we'll see how this progresses. Because if I was you know, I'd be concerned about not shutting that down and having to bring guys in the box. And the one thing that Kramenecker's got is the gun. You know, he's got the gun right there. Second and about six. Here's the gun. Going to pass it here. Oh, Look he's got him down the seam. Wide open. Got him down Touchdown. the seam, wide open. Oh, touchdown saving tackle there. 
Wonderful, wonderful uh, tackle right there. Jamari, Jamari Kern with that. About a 40-yard gain. That uh, pass puts Kramenecker over 1,000 yards on the season. God, the kid can throw the ball. Throws it so well. He has had a cannon since he was a tiny kid. I can tell you from personal experience, he has always had a cannon. Just a nice split out. He was wide open on that, too. Kramenecker again. Oh, they give it to Bachmeyer. He's not going to make it in. Just inside the two-yard line. Cutler with the uh, tackle right there. And uh, I, think, I think both of those... The interiors on both of them are really, really good. It's going to take it's going to take a lot to just be able to walk through, but we might see that tonight. Second down and about uh, goal. Second goal, about two yards. Handoff inside Bachmeyer again. again. Got the pass square. He in. got in on the second he got effort. It. Yep, in on the second effort. Kept the legs driving, spun a little bit, and drove himself in backwards. Well, just for what I was talking about, that I didn't think they'd be able to get it in there. And uh, Abril able to do that along with the extra point. And with 6.52 left in the first, the Genoa Comet Zero, your Rossford Bulldog 7. Brad does such a nice job. I just figured we'd let him go. We'll be right back. Oh, he's, he's doing an excellent job. He is. He is. We'll be back. On behalf of the Rossford Athletic Boosters, we would like to thank the following businesses and community supporters. On the job for you for over 100 years, you need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. Step out to Ignite Coffee and Tea, Route 51 in Genoa, Ohio, for the best in comfort drinks and baked goods and incredible sandwiches. Ignite Coffee and Tea has been a proud sponsor of high school sports in the area and has become one of the highlights of Genoa, Ohio. All sorts of coffees, teas, bubble teas, along with the best baked goods in the area. Ignite Coffee and Tea is a proud sponsor of high school sports in the area. 7-0 starts our score, 6.52 in the first quarter. Mike Jameson along with Marty Bin here, Toledo Sports Network. Uh, that was quick. Well, I think you saw there why Kyle Kromnacker is the leading passer in the Northern Buckeye Conference, and Jamari Coomer is the second leading receiver. In fact, he might have overtaken the top uh, yardage receiver with right that there. catch. Yeah. Uh, they, they really get after it, and they mix it up. And, you know, honestly, if they're able to run the ball successfully inside, I think it's going to be a long night for the Genoa defense because you know they can throw it. You know, a little punch kick right there. Punch kick down in the seam. 28 at the 20. Olutsky with it. And they stop him. They stop him big right there. That was a that was a heck of a one-arm tackle. I'll tell you, normally you don't see guys get on the ground with that, but he hooked, hooked him good and got him on the ground. Carl Roberts with the with the tackle right there. And uh you know it's going to be starting on their 24 yard line here for their second series tonight. Yeah, really not much on the return. That's right about where the ball hit the ground. <laughs> we'll see what they're able to do right now. In tight with the wing. Coming oh, around nice. the outside. Oh, that's with the Gomez. Yeah. Gomez broke one right there. Uh, 11 yard gain. And that's what you know is going to be able to do. They've, they're, they've, they'll pick a hole and they'll stay with that hole until that hole gets clogged up. So uh, first and 10 out on the 36-yard uh, line. This is time they're going to put the receiver out to the wide side again up top. 
You wonder how long that's going to be a decoy before they take a shot against that man coverage. Yeah, well, Stoner's got the arm for it and uh, has been able to do some nice cross, you know, cr cross routes. Well, against that man coverage, a quick slant should be there because you got the man coverage the outside. Right now, the defense is playing him to take away up top. They're not taking away the inside leverage. Cutler, the ball carrier, second and eight. Got a couple out of that right up the middle. Closed in on this one. Stoner. Over to Gomez again. Gomez uh, got a couple out of there, maybe four. It's going to be third and about four. Boy, if you're Janelle, you'd really like to get a first down out of this. And move yeah. the chains again and... Uh, you know, at least win the field position battle. Sitting back and on that fourth and one. They're remembering that right now, you know, that fourth and one. I, but it's early in the game. That's I, I mean, I mean, you're going to, you know, it's the kind of team that will take that. Coach Patterson will take that kind of chance. Third and about three. Stoner's going to pass this time. He's got a little time and he's got his guy inside. You know, he, he bought some time with his feet, picked up a nice block from Lyman who kept the pad square and didn't do anything silly and uh, waited Set. for the play to develop. Compliment to the couple offensive linemen there for not holding. A lot of times when you see, especially at the high school level, you see those quarterbacks start rolling out and out yep. comes a laundry. Spilia with the uh, catch right there, and it's uh, first and ten for the uh, Comets. Gomez is going to take it again. You know, they're going up on that uh, that high side. They wind up getting three out of it. You know, you you watch these and you, know, you wonder sometimes about at what point in time you run the read option instead of just the straight give because, boy, if he yanks it there and takes it around the backside, that quarterback could walk for 20 yards. You don't show anything in the first quarter, right? You, you're trying to win a football game. You show whatever you have to. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, I've always been of the the camp that says, you know, run it until they stop it and then run something else. Right. Cutler with the carry right there. He's going to get a couple. It's going to be third and about five. So we'll see if they throw it again. I like that look last time. Mm -hmm. Once again, special thanks out to IBEW Local 8, UA50. Mommy Bay Turf. Um, Brad and the gang, uh, Arturo's Pizza, Fast Track Performance, which is something I have to start doing. 419-351-8677. Rocking the music here tonight. Stoner's going to pass. Oh, he's got a guy open in the flat. Open. Wide open again. That's 22 again. That's Charlie Cutler. He got it all the way down to about the, what, 26, 27? They're going to spot it at the 27. That's exactly what you were talking about. They, they kept going the other side, and they finally spin it over wide open. Well, they ran the back on an under route on the, out to the flat, and uh, linebacker didn't recognize it quick and didn't, didn't get out there in time. Such a beautiful night for football. A little chilly, but oh, it's not chilly. No, got, it's perfect. You, if it's you're down there in the field, perfect. you got the pads on. You hit, get hit a couple times, break uh -huh. a sweat, get lathered up, and here we go. This is perfect football. Right? Stoner and about the 27, oh, passing again, open, wide open. Got a corner route open. If he can oh, get there. Oh. Oh. So close. Yeah, just, just missed it. Just out of his hands right there. And uh, Good looking route. I think it was Cutler, wasn't it? No, that was the uh, that was the wideout okay. on the corner. Cutler ran the under, and the wideout had the deeper corner. I can't see I can't see numbers. So. Uh. Reed Stoner, that's his brother. Oh, that's his brother. They've been practicing that for probably 13 years, you know, in the backyard. And I'm sure neither one of them thinks it was their fault if that's the case. <laughs> Second and ten. Okay. Got a couple out of that. About two and a half on that. Number 24, Ray Gomez is the ball carrier. Third and about seven and, seven and a half here. Yeah. I like that you know he's throwing the ball a little bit to open things up. I, well, I think what you're seeing here, too, both these teams are testing each other because they know um, 
I mean, it's 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 almost like a race for second place here right now because Eastwood is playing real well. Neither one of these teams has faced Eastwood yet. J- Jaden Rayford's a handful. Oh yeah, he's oh, a yeah. hand, leading the league in scoring and rushing, and uh, he he can take over a game all by himself. And there aren't a ton of backs that can do that. Now we got a timeout, folks. We'll be right back. Seven zip right now. Rossford on top of the Genoa Comets right here in Rossford on the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419 419- 481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. And we're back on this, and it uh, looks like they got the first down. Well, that's, that's a great play call by the Genoa offense. You know, they, they ran a man in motion and then basically ran a short flag and a deep corner route to clear out the coverage on that side and then snuck the back off the wing side out in the flat late, and it was wide open. I got to tell them where, where the ball's at, too. It's just a, that's a well-designed play. Here we go, first down. On about the 11. That's on the 11. And now they're going to give it to Charlie. More, more, like, a, more like the 16, but we'll, we'll, work, on, it? we'll work on your yard. I, I, see, I've got this. <laughs> Yeah, I know you got the bar. <laughs> I got the bar. You got the bar. I got the bar. You hate the windows now, and you love it when it rains and it's cold outside. All right, now where's the ball? It's now on the eleven. You now you're, you're on. The now I was a play ahead. You're 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 a sage. Yes, the soothsayer. OCD. OCD. Stoner gets it off to uh, Charlie Cutler again. Yep. It's about two on the play. Bring up third and two. It's reminding me of about nine minutes ago. <laughs> well, they're, they're a little deeper in, in the, the Rossford zone this time. Got about a minute to go in the first quarter. We appreciate you listening right now. Our, my cell phone's dead, so I can't talk to anybody, so I apologize. There, there are a lot of people that aren't necessarily disappointed about that. I, I'm, I'm sure of that. I'm sure about that. There you are. There we go. So now they have the wide out to the short side. Third and about two. Cutler. Have a oh. motion on that. Yeah, that's coming back. Got a flag on it. Normally means. Dead ball foul right there. Movement. I got a little excited. Great job to both schools for a great cause. I got it at third and six. Yeah, third and six, third and seven. You know, it's, it's a little tougher down here because the clear out routes they've been running, there's not enough depth left in the field because the field's shorter, so there's not going to be as much space, right. so he's going to have to thread one in there. Wherever it's happening, I think it's going to happen on this long side. There it is. Wide. Oh. Intercepted. The... Uh, Left, cor- left corner there, jumped that route and stepped right in front and picked it off. That's great break on the ball. Ben Morrison with the interception there for the Bulldogs. Wow. Great, great job. Well, he, I mean, he read that perfect. He saw the break. Quarterback really didn't look him off, stared at the play, and uh, he stepped right in front and picked it off. That'll do it great. to you every time. It's a great break on the ball. 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. And, uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful job right there. You know, if you're Genoa, you got to be heartbroken to get that deep into twice. Rossford twice in the first quarter and come away empty-handed. That, that is tough. 
Armenecker hands it off to Bachmeyer. And it's about five on that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Finch. Carl Finch with the uh, carry right there. 24 already Gomez and number 52, Daniel Baker. Gain of about five, second down and five. That'll end the first quarter. They're not going to take another snap, I don't believe. Now the quarterbacks, quarterbacks standing there off to the side. I think they're happy to come over here and talk about this. Totally agree. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter right here. Seven, seven, nothing right now. Rossford on top. Toledo Sports Network. The best in car stereo equipment. Tass, Toledo's car audio, car starter, and window tinting experts. Tass Electronics. You know. Tass Electronics. It's hot. We're the people at Nika. People with the right connections. When it comes to electrical work, you want to make sure it's done right the first time. NECA contractors employ the most highly trained and reliable workforce in the industry, which means quality and safety. We can help you get the job done on time and on budget. The right connection you need. We're the people at NECA. People with the right connections. At Genoa Custom Interiors, we provide quality service at competitive prices. We offer a variety of flooring and interior design options customized to fit your needs. From carpets to hardwood, no matter what type of flooring you desire, we have what you want. Our designers will show you how to set up furniture, flooring, window treatments. Contact us today for a free estimate for any of our interior design, installation, and services. Genoa Custom Interiors. Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeis has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Second about five to start the second quarter. Nice little jump cut there. I think that should move the chains. Pitches the ball carrier brought down by number 24 for the Comets, Ray Gomez. That is enough yeah, for Bulldog first down. So now you got to ask yourself, you're Rossford. Okay, you just moved the chains, got a little breathing room. Do you take a shot now? Would you? Would you right now? You don't want to ever ask me that question. <laughs> I'm a wide open offense guy. I, I like to chuck it around a lot. They got four wide here again. Play action. Oh, had him on a had him on an under. Oh, wow, wait. Nice, nice. Fumble. Uh, no, no, he's no. got it. I got it. All the way out to the, about the 35 and a half. Number five, Jamari Croom. That is enough for a Rossford first down. You know, that's a tough play for those linebackers because, you know, they've got to respect the run, especially since they have been running the ball successfully, so the play action freezes them. And honestly, you don't see a ton of play action in high school. It's a great, great look. Yeah, that's beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. And I'll tell you, you know, Kramenecker's definitely got the arm, and the guys have been able to, Krum's been able to get the ball. Shefford's uh, getting the ball too. Boy, right up the middle. About six there on first down. And see, that that just opens up the entire play. But you can call anything you want now, and it's hard to be wrong. Yep. Fitch with the ball right there. I used to have a theory when we were talking to the defensive guys. When the play takes that long to come in, they're going to try something different. Right? It's not something they've been running all day. Look at here. We're translating, yeah. right? What, what Everything's we, new right What now. did Coach just call? Oh, that one. I love that one. Well, he looked him off. He's got some room to run here. Uh, oh, he hesitated. Didn't get nothing that time. That's Charlie Cutler with the uh, with the uh, breakdown. 
Yeah, I think he hesitated on making that decision. He could. He had first down yardage initially, and then uh, thought about throwing it again, and came away with maybe a slight loss on the play. Marty Ben from uh, Fairway Mortgage, and uh, we're going to have you on the Let's Fixer Up show here in the next couple of weeks, talking about uh, talk about equity in a house, and if you want to use it to make something pretty in your house, that's what you're good at, right? Well, you're good at making things pretty, too. That's it, it depends on who you ask. If you ask the wife, I'm good at working on things and not finish them. If you ask me, I'm not half bad. And Kramenecker this time had a lot of time to play back there until the uh, yellow flag started flying, and uh, all you know, of a sudden. You know, it did a good job with the coverage. There wasn't a lot open, and uh, I think that's a holding penalty that they'll probably decline, and it'll be fourth down. Yeah, they're kind of moving backwards, and... Uh, yeah, they're, you know it's going to decline. decline that, yeah. yeah, on that sack, you you want to make them fun here. I don't I don't think with those weapons on offense you want to give them a shot. And uh, with this field position, it's not really important to push them back. Right, that's the right call. I'm going to have to uh, sit in with the uh, with Brad and them about equalizing those microphones for the refs. I think. <laughs> Right now, Rossford's punting it away from their own 22. Nice looking kick. That was a beautiful Drove it back a little. Coverage is there. Oh, oh. It all over it. I think he lost two on the return. That's, that's a great kick and a mm -hmm. tremendous coverage. Uh, you know, you with the uh, just tore him down. Well, you talk about fundamentals. If you don't hold the gunners up, that's going to happen on almost every punt that you get a little hang time on. And that, me, that punt hung up there. Let me ask you this. All your years of coaching and everything, as tight as that was on him catching that ball, isn't there anybody on Genoa's team, isn't there like a code word that says wave your hand? Because, well, I mean, that was close. Generally, you leave it up to your returner to make the decision to call a fair catch or not. If okay. you want everybody not to touch it, almost everybody's got a word. I, I think half the world uses Peter, 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 which right, is right, get right. a heck away from it. Yeah, right. And don't, don't get anywhere near it. First and ten. Looks like Gomez again with that. Gonna get a couple on it. Yeah, about, they, a, about they, a yard on that play. That, you know that gap linebacker did an absolutely great job coming right through the hole that was vacated the way the blocking scheme was and getting in the backfield and getting them on the ground. You know, both of these teams. You know, we used, we used to teach linebackers, you know, if you're that backside linebacker and that guard pulls, you go screaming through that hole. Right. Either you've got contain coming on the backside or that's where the play's going right through that spot. And he tried again. Ooh, ooh, there's 54 again yeah. with a big hit. Gained Huge. about two, but he, that, he'll feel that one in the morning. Well, this is another thing, you know, where you're at third and you're long, third and long, and it's making it tough for Stoner because – only really good passing he's been able to do is on the back side, and getting to the back side's tough. Well, unfortunately, if you're a coach, you see that interception on the last possession, yep. and I think that changes your mindset a little bit on what you want to do in the playbook, especially on your side of the 50-yard line. Third and about six here for the uh, Comets. So they've got his brother here on the wide side. Yeah, if they were going to try it, they ain't not going to happen. Nothing open. There was a uh, – they were going to sneak the back out late and have him run just a little zone read underneath, and uh, he didn't have enough time to find him. Number 24, Trent Bachmeyer, number 54, Gavin Lankus, brings up fourth down. Fourth and about 13 right here. And uh, – Time for the – for Sam Witt. Two back on the – two back on the uh, – Punt return. Oh, he got, oh, got some a little head of steam. Didn't get much with it, though. No. He played the hot perfect, though. 48 yeah. yard line. Played it like an outfielder. Rounded, rounded it, came forward, caught it coming forward. A little momentum. The Genoa 48 yard line with 7.23 left in the second quarter. The Genoa Comet Zero, your last for Bulldogs, 7. I mean, there's just, there's just times we don't have to talk. No, you got Brad. I don't, I don't think we can afford to put him on the staff. Though. Brad is one of our sponsors. Along, I can't thank him enough for helping out. And uh, you know, they're they're putting these wonderful, wonderful fields in. And uh, here, especially in the Toledo area, we are so lucky to have somebody like Brad being able to do these kind of things. 
Well, it's amazing to me how much safer these turf fields are than the old turf with the crinkles mm -hmm. and wrinkles and all the horrible things that happened when the shoes got stuck. Kromenek is going to roll out. Yeah. Oh, he's got oh, a guy wide on the backside open. with leverage. He led him just a little bit too much on that one. Yeah, that, that's kind of a read route where the quarterback and the receiver have got to be on the same page. The, he had leverage the inside of the field, which is really what you want. And, right. You know, you just yeah, kind he of, did. It was wide open. You just kind of throw it into that space and have it make an adjustment. Right. Um, Safety never came back at all on that. So it, it was him. It was the two of them. If, if he'd have let him right well, on that, that could have been a touchdown. Yeah, he had man, and he had a lot of room on the inside. Somebody upstairs is looking at that. They'll come back to it. Both teams are looking at that one. <laughs> Second and ten. Kramenecker passes Little again. Bubble screen. Just can't get Klotz with it for, uh, for Rossford. Just Gain not able to turn it yet. Gain of about six. Yep. Yeah, but it's, it's, again, that shortens up your third down play. It's an interesting spot. Game's going real quick today. 7.08 left to go in the second. Well, it's been relatively penalty free, which helps. And not a lot of passing. Well, not a lot of incompletions. Not a lot of, not a right. lot of clock stoppages. Right, exactly. Decision. Oh, did first they, down. No, they got first down. They got it. Yep. Yep. See, again, when Bachmeyer's able to run like that, it just opens up so much more for this offense. Kind of quick. Quick in there, uh, getting to the offensive line a lot quicker. Except when I say that, then well, they're so so. Rossford runs a system that I'm very familiar with in terms of communicating. They've got wristbands for all the players, not okay. just the skill players, and so they're able to call plays from the sideline directly to everybody. You don't need to ever huddle in that. So I, it's not necessarily the no huddle or the go fast. It's just you can they communicate just right from the sideline very, very efficiently. Bachmeyer takes it up the middle. It gets about a yard on it, and that was about it. And uh, I, I've uh, – no, Cardinal Stritch used to run that, and I'm, I'm sure they run something similar to this. But there have been a lot of teams that I've seen with this that it takes forever, you know, once they get the play in. and the, oh, You know, you know exactly what I'm talking don't about. Don't get me started. <laughs> it, 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 listen, it, it, there's nothing to make an AD or an old football vet more angry than you come out of a timeout or a possession change. Oh, great throw. Wide open. Absolutely yeah. great throw. Got eyes on the safety down the field, throws him up a little bit, and then comes back to the second look and uh, made a great, great progression there. Yeah, Dylan Prater with that, and the great thing about that play needed some time to to kind of get together and mesh, and it worked out real good for the uh, Bulldogs. Well, when you have a quarterback this accurate, you, you can't give him time. I mean, you've you got to get him dirty. If that pocket's clean, it's going to be a long night. Well, we've been to this position before. Uh, uh, Bulldogs have been able to score when they got in be in the red zone. Uh, Genoa's had a couple of problems so far. They get it in. I think we're going to have a hold here. That's yeah, coming back. Yeah. You know, there's been a lot of talk because of a couple of recent injuries about uh, banning jumping in, in totality in football, leaping over guys. Really? Oh, yeah, because of the type of hits that happened. And, uh it's interesting when you watch somebody do a little hurdle move there, you know, where, where that line is where yeah. leaving your feet's dangerous and not. You know, what do you, how, do you, how do you, I've always wondered how you're going to call that. You know, a receiver jumps for a 50 50 ball, that's, I mean, how's that going to work? First and 20 with the uh, penalty right there brings it out to the 25 yard line. Special thanks to, of course, our great friends at Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski. Uh, Proud to help with legal problems here in Wood County, Lucas County, and uh, the surrounding communities. They're located right over on Dixie Highway in Rossford, 662-3100. Thank you, Kent, and all the great people. Coming there back to pass. Oh, he's, he's got, got a time. seam route wide oh, open. I, I think he overthrew him, though. See, oh. this is... This he's he's going to watch that one on film in the morning. And yeah. Yeah, pull pull his ball cap down a little over his face. And he had him. Say say that's on me, coach. Yeah, that was there. 
That's an easy six if he puts a little air on it. Second down and 20. Just found out, uh, well, this evening, uh, 23rd on Wednesday, for all you Rossford people, they're going to be having a, a Rossford uh, meeting debate uh, for uh, what's going to be happening here in Rossford. We're going to be doing it live on the Internet nice. for people. So uh, looking forward to doing that. Kramenecker's putting it back up again, this time wide open. Guy in the corner of the end zone. Great throw. Beautiful. Put it on the money on the run and uh, complete to Ben Morrison. Benny Morrison. He had that interception down in the red zone before and uh, caught one in the corner. Let me tell you something about Ben Morrison. The, the nicest kid ever put on the third. The incredible manners and one of the hardest working. He wants everybody to shine on whatever team he's on. You know what I mean? And that's how he has always been so well. The extra point is good by number 32, Jackson Murthaw, with 518 left in the second. But you know what, Comet Zero, your roster Bulldogs, 14. You heard it. Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. You know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. 14 nothing is our score. Uh, 5.18 left to go here in the second quarter. Rossford Bulldogs uh, dominating the passing game right now. Playing the secondary quite well. Well, they've got four wide on almost every snap. And, uh, you know, when your quarterback's mobile and can throw it on the run like that, that's, that's awfully tough to defend. Rossford kick. Quite a bit deeper on this. That's going to get to the end zone. Yeah. Bring it out to the 20. Or is it to 25 now? I, you don't, I don't know. Uh oh. It's 25 and most. I don't know what it is in high school. I forget. I That's terrible. I, I should know this. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Poor guy. Poor I feel, guy. I do. I feel terrible <coughs> about this. I know better. Folks, just to know, there you go. It's the 25. The team or it's the 20. Last night, See, the, the gentleman spotting the ball was the unsure. We talked him into thinking about it. It's the 20. The boys are at home Saturday at 5 versus Swanton. I know you're a little all, you're probably not all the way on today with Dallas losing and everything. Go go lightly. I will. Very I will. I will. I'm a Dolphins fan. I, there's nothing I can well, say. Yeah, but at least you know you have no hope. <laughs> this is I think it's worse to have hope and be yeah. crushed than to have yeah. no hope. Yeah, it was a great game, though. That was a good game. First run right there. Gomez Ray Gomez with, with the... Uh, Gomez is just, just, a, just a good, good, good Second runner. And, uh, and I'm, I'm I'll, waiting I'll to tell you what, Gavin Linkus, the linebacker for Rossford, is having a heck of a first half, and they've got to find an answer or manage to keep him off of their runners because he is doing a fantastic job inside right now. I know we haven't seen anything really from Bartledge, number 10 yet for for them. And uh, Stoner's going to keep it. A whole host of Bulldogs there. Gets a couple there. Maybe about third and Brings up third down and three. Yep, I guess it's three. Let's do what Brad Morrison says because he's using one of my microphones. So. Well, I think I think this is a very important third down conversion. Here. Uh huh. I don't think you want to give him the ball back in with good what would be good field position after a punt and uh, big big play here for both sides. Third and about three. One you got just under four to go in the half. Janelle's going to think about it, take a timeout and. Uh, Timeout, Make sure they have the play dialed up they want. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll have we'll have it back here in just a minute, right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Hi there, I'm Nick with A Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. 
any job big or small, A plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. Welcome back here on a beautiful, brisk Friday night, but it's good. This is good football weather. Need to need to get the old uh, uh, fire pit rolling. We keep the, uh, the Ohio State game. We're going to have some chicken chunks down at the boat. I got so. the patio heater out the other day. Got the propane all fired up. You're ready. We got the swing out there. Is we got the, the pool still filled? No, the pool the pool is done for the year. Pool's pool's done. Oh, great, nice, great job. Yeah. I mean that's you, you really needed that first down. You know, now, now you got under three and a half or under four minutes to go in the half. And uh, you know, if nothing else, you're gonna run the clock down and not give them much of a chance. Give them a chance, right. That's Ray Gomez. Boy, if you can go down and get a score here heading into half, that changes the whole look of the second half. And also if you're Janoy, you're gonna have the ball coming out of the half. You remember Rossford received the kick but fumbled on the opening kickoff. Right. And uh, so Janelle will have the ball to start the second half. Remember, we haven't seen any of these blowouts by Gomez yet where he just takes off on it yet. And uh, still haven't seen it. It's got a couple there for Gomez and uh, maybe two. Well, the the Rossford defense has done a really good job rallying to the ball. You know, they're not, they're not watching one or two guys try and make the tackle. The whole team's getting over there. And that, that cuts down on the likelihood of those big runs when you, yep. when you rally. And some good angles. I, you know, some guys on the backside have taken pretty good angles to cut things off. And line it up for a second, Nate, right now. You know, oh, he's going to. Oh. oh, Stoner got away from him. Good. That, and he got back to the line of scrimmage. I wouldn't say quite eyes in the back of his head, Ooh. but he, his side vision Number saved him a. Uh, what would have been a pretty rough collision there. That would have been tough. And yeah. Stoner's a big, big guy. I, I, I don't that care because when you're, when you're not looking hurt. for it and you get it up under the pads, those are the ones that make it a little harder to throw because the ribs get a little tight. Yep, exactly. You're going to see a lot of cramps later on in this one too, I think, tonight too. Nah, this, yeah. is, this is the perfect. I know, you get less cramps perfect. when it's nice. You know, actually the reason you'd start to see them is Guys don't hydrate as well because right. they're not hot and they don't think they need the extra water. Right. Oh, here we go. There's that under route again. Oh, he floated. Oh, Ooh, he's almost very, caught that. Very fortunate that it, there were a lot of things that could have happened there, and one of them was terrible because that would have gone to the house. <laughs> yeah, Gomez had about six taps on that one. Kind of like that uh, in last night's game. Was that last night's game in the uh, Rams Seahawks yes. game? That kid. Did you see that? Yes. He caught that, and they called it. Fourth and eight. By the way, the NFL set a uh, all-time low in really stupid roughing the passer penalties last <laughs> night. Oh, great punt. Wow. Drives him back. Wick gets a good now one there's, on. There's your Peter call. Stay away from it. He'll take over at about the 30 and a half. You got a minute 57 to go, which is plenty of time. And uh, all three timeouts left. Right. So that's, that's, you know, with their offense, that's a lot of plays left. And they don't need a lot of plays, you know, with what they're able to do. It's boom, 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 and they're down there. Well, and you'd like to think they've got two or three called coming out of this change of possession where they can get going right away and uh, have a couple called out of the time or out of the change of possession. Four wide and down here on the uh, home side of the field, they've got a matchup they've got to like. Ran it inside. That's the uh, we're content to be up two scores handoff is what that is. You got 148. I think you do something. I, again, you don't I ask know, me. I know, you I know, 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 I like to fling it around a lot and live yeah, with what I happens. Know. I like to put pressure on them. That's, a, that's why you hang out with Norm Weimer on Saturday nights. Yeah, we, yeah. I don't know I, if that's I'm a the, compliment or not. I'm the protagonist on that. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Or Everybody the, loves might, to hate you. I might be the antagonist. Oh. Kramenecker again, and that could change. be, that is. Oh, that's the first time. Yeah, definitely. I, I think you, I'm not going to burn a time on it, are they? Back to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Wait. That should stop the clock, though, shouldn't well, it? Well, they, he, they gave him the first down, and while the change were moving, they wound it early because the ball was spotted. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Kramenecker again. He little switch, little switch oh, route here. Oh, nothing no, there. No, no nothing not that time. There. I think there was a little confusion between the yep. two receivers down here. When you run that, you really need to press the toes of that defender before you do the switch. And uh, one of the receivers ran a little early and he gave the safety a clear look to see what was coming, and he backed off and gets good, good coverage. Not a particularly disciplined route there. And he's throwing the ball before anything's happening. You know, right? Well, he's anticipating the guy right. coming open yeah. based on when the break happens. Fifty seven seconds left to go in the half. Gonna move the pocket and roll out here a little there bit. There it is again. Oh, oh that's an easy, uh, that's easy penalty. Wow. Free yard, stop the clock. I'm not sure that would have been caught. But, not uh, at all. But they made it very easy for the official. Braylon Bryant with the uh, push. <laughs> oh, come on. You got to love that. There's, there's nothing better than a little dig from the home crowd. Every time I hear that, I want to go to Cedar space. Point for a Halloween. Space, yeah, Halloween weekends. Yeah. Just a little hot there, Bradley. Just, just a skosh. Just a skosh. They got such a beautiful. <laughs> Heck, no, you wouldn't have it if it was Toledo Sports Network. <laughs> See, we get the we get the love here at Rossford here. Brad cut me open. He's beat me up. He's oh, now yeah, that time they got him. Why well, you burn a time out there? It's really. Kind of not particularly consequential. It's going to be second 15, but it, you know, you're trying to get a couple big plays here and go down and get a score before the half. Do appreciate all the good people. Of course, Task Electronics. Yala Cole, Greek restaurant. Have you ever eaten there? I have. It is delicious. Yeah, I go over there for their just their basic Greek chicken salad. It's like seven, eight bucks. Oh. And I, I, can, I can eat it for three days. Fatouche with a little oh, gyro meat on it. Oh, yeah. Their fatouche, and this is the sign of a really good, it's the homemade pita chips because they're just so crunchy and good. And they just got to love them. They do a very, very nice job over there and uh, good good friends of Toledo Sports Network. Of course, Wojo's Heating and Air Conditioning, they put a new uh, heater in at my house, did a wonderful job. Do you, you eat Kibby? A little bit, just a little bit. I know, I know, I know. Sometime when you want to be grossed out, I will tell you a story oh about a friend of mine because we made uh, fresh venison kibby after deer season. <laughs> and uh, what happened two years later with the alien living in his body? Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh. It, is a, it is a fascinating and disgusting story. Surprise, surprise, surprise. you got to listen. To, you should come do the radio show where I fall in tippers tomorrow. I, I, am, I have plans in the morning. Oh, yeah, I know. So. you got a UT game, I'm sure, right? That's later on. Oh, okay. Kramenecker's going to pass long oh, right again. Right down the seam. I think you could get him for a bump there. Oh, they're very fortunate not to call that. Uh, huh. So, you know, in high school it's different. You know, you, a lot of fans will be in the stands get upset because, you you know, a guy bumps a guy downfield. You can bump until the ball's in the air. Oh. It's, it's not the five-yard rule like you have in college and, 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 and the pros. So right. So I think a lot of fans get confused by that. You can bump them the whole time. So the question there was, was that bump before the bump? I think that ball was in the air. Before the bump, yeah. No, I think that ball was in the air when the bump happened, oh, in my I opinion. I would have, I would have, uh, I might have reached in my pocket if I had a striped shirt on. That's all I'll say. Marty Bim and the bump. As long as it doesn't have venison kibbe in it, we're good. It's good stuff. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Anything you he said? had a... Uh, Parasite the size of your thumb living in his eye socket. Oh, he's got the this one. Oh, touchdown. Nice. Touchdown. Kroom got that one. Boy, that was beautiful. Well, he threw it up, and uh, the wide receiver did a great job using his body to screen the defender and uh, won a 50-50 ball. And honestly, that's as a quarterback, sometimes that's what you're going to do is just throw it up there and let your athlete go make a play, and that's what happened. Exactly. 22 nothing right now. And that was just uh, – Three times in a row, basically the same play. Boom, boom, boom. And they got it on the last one. And that was gorgeous. Absolutely gro well, they gorgeous. Saw, they saw a matchup they liked, and they're going to exploit it until a uh, good job getting a hold down. 21 nothing. I think when you're Geno and you look back at this first half, those uh, two missed scoring opportunities oh, yeah. are going to really loom large. You know, coming away with no points on those hurts a ton. Yeah, big, 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 big tough. We'll be right back. 
From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. Hungry? Call Arturo's. 419-698-1641. Boy, all the years, Art Piscara and Sarah Piscara have been with us here with the Toledo Sports Network. Every Tuesday I go over for lunch. It's either lasagna, a, a, a salads, everything is just so delicious over there. Great friend from high school, Art Piscara at Cardinal Stritch, and uh, a great supporter of the Toledo Sports Network. 21 nothing with 30 seconds left to go. Here we go. Mr. Brian Forrest just came up and uh, dribbled that one on the ground over to, to the Comets. Good, good coverage oh. on the return again. Uh -huh. And at this point, do you just take a knee, Marty? I, I If you're Genoa, you cannot risk another negative play down here. And, I mean, another score, and I think this is all but over. So, yeah, I think yeah. you I think you go into the half. You know, you, you, you have the ball coming out at halftime. you got to go yeah. and make some adjustments and uh, – Come out and try and get some points on the board. Well, the one thing is exactly what you said, that Rossford's been able to shut down that long spurt run by Gomez and, you know, by Bar uh, uh, Barrage. Barrage. And, yeah. Nothing on that one. Again, Lincas has had a heck of a half. I don't know how many tackles he's got, but I, I would say eight or nine. He has had a great first half. I think we might get one more playoff, or they did get it off. That's Gomez again. That's going to do it. Yep, that'll take us to the half. Rossford leading 21-0. We'll be back with more. Right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Yes. 
Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Got to get something together on this first drive and go down and get some points on the board. Get totally, back totally agree. Welcome back as we get ready to start the third quarter here at uh, Rossford in this beautiful new stadium. Marty Ben, yours truly, Mike Jamison here. And uh, I tell you what, it's been all Rossford. Uh, first two times Genoa had the ball, they could have scored. Well, and down in the red zone. I yeah, mean, didn't make it happen. 10, 15 yard line bowl possessions and came away with nothing. Getting ready to start the third quarter here, and uh, Genoa's got the ball. Middle return, and a nice seam this. in there. Out to the 40. I want to say that uh, Christian. Nice the return for the Comets brought down by number 16, Zach Sparks. For the Bulldogs, scores of interest from the Northern Conference at halftime. The Lake 31 on Seago 7. Oh. At half time, Fostoria 22, Elmwood 22, and at the half, Eastwood 42, Woodmore 0. I'm not surprised by any of those. Why are no, you? No, I am very surprised. No. I, the Fostoria game. I mean, you know, Fostoria gave Eastwood such trouble last week or two ago. It's As the outside, do you, you know, if you, you, you've really got to get a hook on that outside guy, or that play's yeah. not going to go anywhere. And yeah, Gomez again, and uh, got a couple. Well, I check with the uh, statisticians. Linkus, the linebacker for Rossford, had nine tackles in the first half. It's, wow. He's just been all over the field. And they're not, when they're pulling the guard, he's just shooting that gap, and they're not getting a chip on him even. It's an adjustment they're going to have to make, or he's going to really cause havoc in the backfield all night. Second and ten for the Comets. They give it to Gomez again. No, no, they didn't. No, it was on the, it was the dive on the up back. Got about a yard and a half. Third. Third. That's Cutler with it. Sounds like a good rap song. Dive on the cutback. <laughs> He's here all day, folks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything exciting going on in Norm, uh, Norm's show? Well, actually, this will air after Norm's show on Saturday nights on Channel 24. I, I got abused about last week's Cowboy performance. Oh, I'll That's bet you That's all did. I'm going to say. That's... We go third. Stoner oh, finally. Oh, oh, that was there. You know, it's the same look they ran in the first half, and it was there again. They just yeah. couldn't, couldn't get it to them. I think you really have to the timing is just off tonight. You know what I mean? It's just that they're just not well, able to make that mesh go, and and that's kudos to Rossford's defense. Well, they've I think the interior of the offensive lines had some struggles tonight, and uh, when they watch the films, just some assignments not being made. Right. Wit with the punt, boot by the lefty. Oh, oh, very friendly yeah, Genoa oh. hop. Oh, oh, I don't know if I even want him to pick it up down there. but Bringing it out to Again, that would the, be the uh, uh, Peter, Peter, Peter call normally. Yeah, don't yeah. touch it, young man, especially backpedaling. Say there was a Schiffer. He's being admonished by the uh, coaching staff there. Saying. Stewart with the uh, tackle, and uh, there was a... There's a little bump and uh, ball. Somebody touched it, and then yeah, it's, you're right. Just should have left it alone. Well, he, he got a real good hop and a forward bounce on it. And added quite a bit of yardage to the punt. Rossford starting on their own ten. So when you got to, this, is when you get to watch Jay's great coverage up there, because we can't we can't see it here. Krominger gets it over to uh, Bachmeyer. Not not much there. Maybe two. One, two. Yard, yard, yard and a half. I think it's second and nine. Small gain on the play. It brings up second down. Turn that up a little bit so you can hear our lovely voices. By the way, you can hear our lovely voices every Saturday morning on 106.5 ESPN. The ticket from 8 to 10. 
We're live out at uh, Fallen Timbers Fairways tomorrow. Invited you, so. I, I, I know. I invited you. I, I just invited you. Yeah. I've been inviting you for 48 years. It's not been quite that long. Yeah, it has. Oh, he's got him. Got him. Seam route again. Oh, just overthrew it. You know, this is something uh, with so, – so, you know, young defensive backs, especially at this level, it, it's very difficult sometimes to teach them leverage. Ba basically, where you want to give up a play and not based on where the help is on the defense. And they've, they've allowed the Rossford receivers to get leverage on them and open up some of the throwing lanes. And uh, at, I tell you what, you, you don't want to give him this quarterback shots like that on a regular basis because he'll make you pay. This is this is our third game. We've watched uh, Kyle be able to throw the ball at will and at will at 30 yards plus. And, boy, I tell you what, if he could just connect, the kid would have $10,000 rush. That, that was a design run play. And, uh, and that was Janelle, mu Janelle must have seen that on film because they had yeah. that sniffed out right from the go. It was just a design quarterback draw on third down, and uh, now they're going to have to punt from deep in their own end. Yeah, this could be this could be. If you're Genoa, you're going to send the house here because you oh, need yeah. to get some points. You got nothing to lose. No, you bring them all. A lot of good things happening here. I got to tell you, with the uh, all the good things that are happening here in Rossford, uh, it's just so nice on a Friday night to have a really good football game here. What a kick! Holy wow. cow! Eleven of the forty-one. About nine on the return. What an absolute bomb, though, by that punter. That's A.J. Rubius with the uh, the carry there. He, he let it bounce, and uh, thinking it might be going backwards, and it kind of bounced right in his hand. I'll tell you what, number two, Jacob Schiffer, just absolutely bombed that. Number 11, A.J. Rubius on the return. Up and brought down by number 18 for the Dogs, Alex Williams. Alex Williams with the uh, monstrous... Take time. How's that? Mm, the monster is take time. That was near, I think that was nearly a 50-yard punt. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and hang time on top of it. First and 10. Give you a full screen here. Back to the full package. 841. Oh, they're going to throw out of it. Oh, that Stoner. route is wide He's open. There's him. no Look one it. there. Look, Look at, at that. that. Great play call. Absolutely great play call. You know what? That's the second time. They've got some out of it. You remember they did it on the other side in the first quarter. Got a lot out of it. Beautiful play. I mean, well, they brought him in tight. I could have caught that. Line. It was such, he was so open. I don't know about that. I mean, I had enough room to get to the ball. He was so wide open. That's why I said I, that. I, they, no, I, I don't know if you know this, right. but they, they don't have wheelchair football anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. They, they ended I would be in the huddle years. taking an inhaler right now. Yeah. <laughs> your, your cardiologist called. He said, yeah. don't do it. Yes. All right, here's Gomez. He's going to bring it. inside. Uh, got a little push there at the end and uh, got about three and a half. Number 24, Ray Gomez on the carry for the Comets. Thought down by two. Quite a bit more than I thought. They got to give him almost seven on that. Six, second down and four. I've experienced the window you were talking about. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, now, it's now right where I want to watch the play. Sure, sure. That's why you have this. Here, I'll, I'll make it even better so you can probably even see it a little better. No, I like to watch it live. All right. Sometimes you just can't, Mr. Ben. Cutler again with it. Uh, third and uh, about three. And 7.20 left in the uh, third quarter. Well, down three scores. This is four down territory. Oh, definitely. At this point in time, you know, you went for it on that first possession, but you don't really have a choice. You, you've right. got to come away with a touchdown. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Why did three. Brad play that song? <laughs> oh, oh, look at this all nice the way. Go, 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 go. That's boom. a touchdown. Touchdown. You know, uh, Boy, that's exactly what the doc ordered. And I love the play call early in that yep. possession with the full house backfield and yep. run that, uh, that little flare route out of it. Well disguised. There was nobody there. And Ray Gomez ran that in backwards, basically. And uh, so just pushing with his feet the whole way. Just a great, great run for Gomez. And now I get to give a shout-out to Sam the Toe Witch. I think that cost me $3 every time I say it. 
The extra point is good by number 21, Sam Witt, with 6.55 left in the third. The Genoa Comets 7, your roster Bulldogs 21. I don't have to say anything. Brad just says it. We'll be right back. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. 21 7 is your score right now. Uh, 6.55 left to go in the third quarter. Mike Jameson along with Mr. Marty Bin from Fairway Mortgage. And uh, their phone number is 419 461 0667. And uh, Marty can help you out with uh, any of your mortgage needs. And uh, there's some really good deals out there right now, isn't there? Well, the, the Fed has uh, made things very nice. I'll just say that. It makes you, it makes you a happy man. I'm not going to complain. Oh, the up guy cut that off yeah. beautifully. I think he tipped it too, don't you think? No, I think I think he hit it, Marty. Yeah, he cut it off and uh, we'll start at the 35. And he got it out. Uh, Lutsky with the uh, old Lutsky. I want to make sure I say that right. Uh, special thanks once again also to Heben Murphy and Lewandowski. And they're proud sponsors of uh, Rossford Sports here and help us out uh, as much as they possibly can. A great uh, legal representation for residents in Toledo, Lucas, and Wood Counties. And so we get a first down here. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice cut to the outside. Yep. Oh, they got it, though. Yeah, Cutler uh, locked that up right there. Four to half on the play. That's Bachmeyer with the carry, I think. Very difficult to see some of the numbers. Very. There's a crease right in the center there that makes eights and nines and twos and sixes all look the same. Uh huh. Since we're not allowed to do video on our, our broadcast, you know. Here we go, uh, second and about five. 24. 24's got it. Bachmeyer's got it again. It's about good defense. Two out of that. That looked open on the initial pitch, and they uh, clo closed it down and got their pursuit angles. About two, third down, and two. Such a beautiful evening here, and you see this wonderful new stadium. The lighting is just beyond phenomenal and uh, and just such a wonderful feel here for football and kind of sucks you only got 10 weeks and you only what six of those 10 are you at you're at home you know but or, it's a uh, or, or half all right yeah yeah or half we'll, we'll work on this with you mm -hmm. 10 divided by two is still five not six we're gonna we're gonna work Oh, yeah, it's one Did of those you, nights, folks. You, you know what, sister, uh, wasn't it, what was the sister, uh, the math teacher forever? Uh, Rosangela. Sister Rosangela yeah. is angry right now. Yes, she is. Yes, she was there when my parents were there and when you were there. Yes, so there yes. All right, we'll, we'll be right back. we got to pay a couple of bills. We'll be right back. Yala Cole brings you the best hummus, kebabs, and gyros, along with other authentic and great tasting food from the Middle East. Yala Kol, the two words mean let's eat, and we hope that's what you'll be joining us for. Yala Kol in Rossford and Sylvania. Caller. I, I, it won't, rec it won't, uh, Jay's trying to show us a Snickers bar, which in other words means I need a <laughs> Snickers bar. Uh, if you don't win it, they just put that to the, oh, we do have a winner. Okay. Trips to the right. This is when Kramenecker's at his best and he goes left. Good little hitch route. And he got the first now. Move the chains. Basically, you're just going to press that defensive back, and the quarterback's going to throw at the back of your head and trust that you're going to turn around when you're supposed to. The one thing they've been able to do, and they've been able to do it all night, is move the chains. And they've dictated 
you know, what has happened on this uh, field so far tonight. Man coverage down here on the right. Uh, boy, I'd, I'd want to take a shot. Yeah, first down. Hmm. Design quarterback run. Well, he got a couple out of it. I think he got the first down. Got first down. Very close. I think they're going to mark him, spot him just short. Or they're going to give it to him and you're going to be wrong. I'm just... <laughs> I, I, I actually don't believe that was the first down based on where the chains were. But uh, look, uh, watch here. He's moving it back. It was not a first down. No. I, I'm being corrected by my uh, co-host here. And uh, just because they moved the chains doesn't mean it was the right call. Yeah, because he did it, not have enough yardage only, for the first down. He only got... Well, two of the officials signal for the change to move, and apparently uh, they went to the same math class you went to before we went to the break. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does that mean Glenn Forbush is in trouble out there? Nine, nine is less than nine is less oh, than ten. Oh, boy, Glenn's in trouble. Oh, boy. Nine is less than ten. <laughs> Holy cow. Glenn, Glenn's had a rough week here, so we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Correction, it was short of the first down, second down, and rest of the yard. Thank you, Marty. I, proving once again that Mike Jamison was wrong. <laughs> hey, I, I just call him like I see him. It was definitely not a first down. I don't even think the chains are back in the right spot by about a half a yard, but who, who am I to quibble? Got it. That'll be a first down. Right. Go ahead and move the chains. Uh-oh. Uh, I see a yellow thing. Holding on the offense. Could be. You think? No, the preliminary signal was holding. Oh, you got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. I didn't see it. The window blocked it. To the window, to the wall. The guy with the white hat usually calls holding. Yep, he did. Yes, he did. It won't be too long. We'll be hearing one of these refs. All right. So, so they're going to say that that spot foul occurred two yards up the field, and I just don't see how that's possible based on where it was. But I'm, Again, I'm not going to quibble, but it's 10 yards from the spot. And uh, I'm just gonna. I don't believe the lineman advanced that far. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide the little character generator thing on there because I have no idea what the number is now. Second, and, hey, it looks like it's second and about eight. Yeah. So just listen to us, folks. Now he's gonna. Oh, they got oh, him this time. Puts, oh, he got away. Nice. And got the ball. Good decision. Well, good decision not to take the sack there by the quarterback. I mean, he would have lost another 10, 12 yards, so he got the ball yep. up around the line of scrimmage, got outside the tackle box. And well, it's always in your best interest in defense if you're on the short side, you're on the short side of the field and he's going back to, to bring the house. And that's what he did. I mean, you're on the 50-yard line, 48-yard uh, line, do it. And that's exactly well, what Genoa hasn't been doing, but they did it that time. Well, I think they had a screen design there, and uh, it got sniffed out. It wasn't open, and so they were letting some of that, some of the linemen come through by design. See, there's the same yeah, thing. That's yeah. that little That time screen. it worked. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of people yelling on that one. And I think I he's know. short by about half yeah. a yard. It's be at the 45. I think it's fourth and about two feet. We're, we're back to the exact same spot where the chains were confused on first down. <laughs> I still haven't put the title back up since then. You know, I'm yeah. afraid to. Fourth, there you go. fourth and two feet. Trying to draw them off here, and now they're going to look over for a play. Ross, we're going to call timeout. We've still got 14 on the play clock. Get the play in. Oh, beautiful. Oh, great Robin keep, Ecker. great keep. Wow. You know, it was a beautiful job at the mesh point there on the read. Kept it in there long enough to fool him yep. and then yanked it out. And nobody home on the backside. That contained. was all timing. Kramenecker just played. He played him like a fiddle. You know, he waited and waited and waited, and, and then he wound up getting 25 out of it. Great job. Well, if you're a defense, when they only need two feet, you got to pick your poison. So, you know, they – they committed to stuffing it inside. Bachmeyer's ball carrier brought down by number 52, Daniel Baker, and number 16, Gage Gallagher for the comments. If 
you rush for this drive is what the doctor ordered. Take yeah. a lot of play cl- or a lot of game clock off and uh, flip the field if nothing else. Now if you can come away with some points and put it back to a three score game. About three oh five left to go here in the third. And get it over to uh, Bachmeyer again. He's been a workhorse tonight. And that's his job. And he, he 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 does that very well. But being able to have him out there to utilize some of those short pass plays too has been awesome. Just it, it, they've just been able to turn it around. Right. I guess it's third and three. The guys in the booth are screaming. So. Got to tell you, these guys do a wonderful job up here, and Kramenecker keeps it. I think he's got the first down on that. Depend on, the, depend on the spot, but I think he had enough. They have bring the chains. They're going to bring the chains around to measure it. Time out for a measurement. Good time for us to say thank you to Silver Moon Soda Grill over there on 795, 666, 7425. Silver Moon, it's become one of my Sunday morning hangouts. Jay and I go over there for uh, breakfast, do the twister. But I've been going a little later just so I can get their hamburger. Hamburger, the 795 burger is just incredible. And uh, got to love it. Just got to love it. And uh, thank you. Adam and John over there at Silver Moon. And uh, come on out and say hi to us. They're over there on Sundays. And I've almost, I've almost got them talked into us doing a Saturday morning show there. Not there yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Boy, it's literally fourth and inches. Here we go again. Just short. They're going to spot the ball on the right hash. And uh, the distance from the football to the first down marker is about the distance of my vertical leap. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wow, those were the days. My big ups. Me and Bill Lambeer, you could measure it with playing I cards. never could jump real high. That was a 45 Every time I seemed day. to jump, someone laid my legs out under me, and I wound up with a back problem. So I'm trying not to jump anymore. Fourth and one. Four, fourth and inches. I think fourth I think and a I, feather. I think the whole playbook's open here. Yeah. Oh, bounces it outside and uh, down to about the one and a half. First and goal. Great job by the right side of that offensive line. First and goal on this, and uh, like you said, the playbook's open right now, right? Yeah, I, if you're Genoa, you need to get a stop there and get the ball back. Unfortunately, they get a score here, and that's... I don't think he got in on that. Down to about the six-inch line. Yeah, Bachmeyer dove up, and they, they kind of hit him on that one. Be second in inches. Second about a football to the goal line. 128 left to go in the third quarter here. <laughs> Boy, she's got a loud voice. She's an enthusiastic supporter. I'd love to hear her say, honey, dinner's ready. I think he's in this time. Touchdown. Ross for Bulldogs. Beautiful. We're back to a three-score game. uh, Oh, boy, there. There. Brad pushing those buttons again. (laughs) Don't play fireworks. And he scores. 28 to 7 is our score right now. Just about the end of the third quarter. We'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because... You deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 LEA KC Gate.
28 7 is our score right now as we get ready to finish out the third quarter here. Uh, 114 left to go. Marty Bin from the one and only Fairway Mortgage. And uh, hey, they can help you out. 461 0667. And uh, now's a great time to do some refinancing and get yourself ready and do some great projects on your house. As, uh, we a deep kick. Bring it out from about the four. <laughs> Boy, they've had just great coverage on the special teams. Really yeah, no, you, no alleys, no room to run. And something we've, uh, uh, Genoa's just not been able to get that big run like we saw when they played Elmwood. And uh, kind of we're, we're seeing a little bit of what we saw during the Oak Harbor game where they just really couldn't materialize any offensive uh, posture here, I guess is the word I want to use. And uh, but they've they're, they've been able to move the ball a little bit. Well, that, it's that, just well, that last possession looked a lot a lot better. You know they had a couple play calls that I thought were very um, creative and uh, changed things up. There's Gomez with a little room. Number twenty-four, Ray Gomez is the ball carrier. Up down the line, number twenty-two for the dogs. Looks Jimmy like about second and four. I'll tell you, that that air just smells so good. You know what I mean? Oh, fall air is the I best. just, Jesus, just nice. I mean, I got my jacket on now because I am an old man. You know, there's nothing better. You can turn the air conditioner off, open the windows up, get down under a blanket a little bit. Sure. I can't open the windows. I have cats. Oh, I and we have feral cats in our neighborhood. Right it's all right. And, I'm not going to say anything about that. My, my wife would be angry with me if I said anything. Number 28, Robert Messenger was the ball carrier for the Comets, brought down by number 19. I, I also had to promise her tonight I wouldn't tell any stories of back when her, I, Kyle Kramanacker, the quarterback for Rossford, used to ride in the car to and from school almost every day with my son Noah and I. Uh -huh. And I have some stories that are absolutely hilarious, and she said, no, don't tell them. So I, I won't, but I want to. That's all I'm going to say. Because your wife might be listening, is that why? Well, or she'll watch it on TV. It's uh, it's the end of the third quarter, and uh, I'm not going to get to hear the stories. But we'll have a commercial message, and we'll be back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. A rewarding career begins with an apprenticeship in the piping industry. Our state-of-the-art training facility, combined with on-the-job training side-by-side -side with a journeyman, delivers the experience needed to become a professional plumber, steam fitter, or HVAC service mechanic. Avoid costly tuitions and student loans. Earn a competitive wage and college credit in an exciting trade. We are the Northwest Ohio piping industry, building the future through dedication, knowledge, and expertise. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. You've planned and planned. Each moment of your special day just has to be perfect. You don't want to worry about anything. Just know that you've hired professionals to make your wedding day special. Mike Jamison with Creative Video Imagery has produced award-winning weddings for over 15 years. Our company has the equipment and the artistic ability to capture your day on digital DVD, giving you lasting memories of a day you will cherish forever. Call Creative Video Imagery today or visit our website, Creative Video Imagery, making moments into lifetime memories. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Thank you. 
Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 LEAK Seagate. Bring you back to fourth quarter here. Third and one. 28 7 is our score. Rossford's kind of. Kind of been in control of this one. And uh, Kramenecker has been able to do, I, I, to be honest with you, if Kramenecker connects on three separate pass plays of 30-plus yards, we're looking at a couple more scores here. It was it was that close. Yeah, there were a couple deep balls that were open. 24. Genoa, oh, there's, there's the big run. There's Gomez. For, Mike. That's what we've been waiting for all day if you're a Genoa Comets fan. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And, and they knocked him out, out of bounds. about the 7. Yeah. But that's a big, big play. Good 50-yard run right there for him. And Gomez has, that's the guy that's got the ability to do that. He's just not been able to find that hole all night. Found it there. I couldn't have run that any better. Here we go again. <laughs> Don't forget to watch my new TV show, Mike Jamison Pretends to Be a Kid Again. Everyone saw that. It, yeah. it, uh, it well, not very long. It came on right before. What was the show about going to heaven? <laughs> heaven can wait. Stoner's gone. It's oh, intercepted. Oh, no. Yes. Goodness gracious. That is, th those are two interceptions down there inside of the 20-yard line, down in the red zone with opportunities to score. And that's just, yeah. It, it's, hard to, it's hard to win football games when that happens. That's cool. I think Lucas Klotz with the uh, interception right there for the Bulldogs. Uh, you know, that's Marty, and that's what we've been talking about all night. It's just Genoa's a half step off in offense tonight, and it's and and I don't know if that's the shake hands to Rossford's oh, defense or it's some they're a some half step off. Sometimes the smartest play when your quarterback is to tuck it down or just you know I, I I've often said some of the smartest plays I've seen. Yeah, but are he throw had him on that one. He just did I, I, not lead him enough. I don't know. He, I, he needed to lead him another half a step, and, that, and, he, and he catches that. Sometimes the best decision is to hit the mascot. True. True. And, uh, I think a lot of quarterbacks don't get credit for not making bad plays and not forcing the ball into situations that aren't there. And, and Stoner's got the arm to do it. There's, there's no it's doubt a, about it. Yeah, it's not a question He's of strong. arm strength. <laughs> Kramenecker broken play was able to uh, make three a, out of it. I think design run. And to be honest with you, I, I thought they were going to flip a flag on that when I saw movement. Yeah, Rossford's got Bachmeyer out. Looks like is it seven. No, I don't have a seven. I can't tell. Who. Four it must be a four, huh? Yeah, I know. It's they're Carl, so tough to see. Carl Fitch in the backfield. Yeah, there's a there's a crease right where my old man eyes can't get any focus. Well, we're actually going to have to hire somebody with some binoculars. That's what we're going to have to do now and have our own field reader. Still on its feet. Whoa. Uh, that, that's going to that's going to draw 15 yards. That extra yeah. that extracurricular activity when he's clearly out of bounds. And that's just a flag you have to throw as an official. You know, yeah. They're they're taking that out of the game, and I and I support that. Carl Fitch on the carry and uh, 15 on the late hit. Yeah. I mean, he was a good two and a half, three yards out of bounds. That's an easy and necessary call. It sure is. Not, not a lot, not a lot of penalties tonight. I mean, I think we've got a no, handful. It's been a Couple holding calls. It's been a pretty clean game. That one big pass interference call. Playing the Sunday night football music. Isn't that like the old Sunday night? No, it doesn't. Is that, is that the one I they're using now? I don't know. I just look at Carrie Underwood. I was just going to say, it's very hard to concentrate. 
She sure is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Kromenacker keeps it on that and gets himself about three, maybe four. Yeah. Brad said four, so I'm going to do what he says. This is about as local as you can get if you're a Northern Buckeye fan. Well, they can flip jerseys and be on the other team. Exactly. Everything's the same. The Sea of Maroon. Nice run. That's Fitch. Fitch is going to be about a yard short of the first downs. Third and a yard. He keeps the clock moving now under 10 minutes to go in the fourth. And if you're in Rossford, you're in no hurry to snap the ball quick. Not at this point. Not at this point. One thing, and we've said it a million times tonight, Marty, is they've dictated the outcome so far. All the way. All the way. Yeah. Oh, beautiful run right there. That Fitch again? Number four, Carl Fitch on the carry, brought down by number 13, Ryland Stoner. And number 52, Daniel Baker. That is just not four. That first down, you probably have an opportunity to run at least another two, two and a half minutes off the clock here. That is how you follow your blockers. First and ten. Next week we'll have the Genoa Eastwood game for you here on CW 13.2. And that young man Rayford for Eastwood Oof. is a hand for. Oh. I think you know what you're gonna get with that. Here it comes and stop it. It's gonna be like uh, army football. Run, 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 run. Maybe, maybe, maybe more like Wisconsin football right now. <laughs> here, here comes Mr. Taylor, Mr. Rayford. I, they have had creative chain work tonight. They, it, it, I'm going to say that creative Glenn, chain Glenn, work. Glenn, 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 Glenn. He's going to love us. They may need to do a uh, tutorial on correct chain work over there because uh -oh. it's been uh, fascinating. Uh, we got a timeout. Rossford will be uh, right back. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide, lime, and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. They are back. It's like first and 15 right now. Kromenecker's going to keep Fakes it. Fakes the pitch and right up the middle. It's about nine of it back. Up and if you're Rossford right now, you're just comfortable keeping the clock running. Yep, eight not eight oh nine left to go in this contest. Oh, pitch the outside to Fitch. They got him bottled up. That's Fitch again. Fitch is getting a lot of playing time right now, too. Well, he made a good decision there. He turned it up, kept the ball in bounds. Yep. You know, I think a lot of young men tend not to think of the down and distance in the game situation. You run out of bounds and stop the clock. But you know, it's got to really has to hold them here and make something happen. Oh, they need to stop there. Hands down.
it's like a tale of two teams here because uh, you know we were, we watched Genoa dismantle uh, Elmwood. Kramenecker's got tons of time. He's going long. Just a bit outside. You got to punt and pin him down here. Raider just couldn't get there. We're going to go fourth and seven here. Could be the stop that Genoa needs right now and then get a quick score. You are an optimist, sir. I, I support. I, I like. The, I like the enthusiasm, but it's a three-score game with seven to go. Marty, I've been self-employed for 35 years. <laughs> you don't have any choices. Is that exactly. What you're oh, you hung that up there, perfect. Yeah, nice punt. Get your head around. Look at this. Pins oh, down. Oh wow! What a great kick. He has done a fantastic job. Yeah, it looks. Oh, they are calling the eighth. Gotcha. Yeah, Jacob Shifford has been absolutely outstanding in the kicking game tonight. No, he, hasn't, he hasn't had to kick a lot tonight, but when he has, he's just done exactly what you said. He's well, just, but he, he didn't just, you know, that, that requires a little finesse on that kick. Oh, yeah. So you didn't have to there. thump one, right. Yeah. He needed 35 to 40 yards out of it, and that's basically what he got. And he had a great angle to get it out of bounds. Uh-huh. They've got to go 92 yards to get a score here. And they need to do it in a hurry. 24. There goes Gomez. Gomez has got it again. Here we oh, the ball's oh, out. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Rossford got that. That is Rossford's it's ball, my Rossford friends. Ball. That cut back blind. He got, got hit from behind, stripped from behind, and uh, Rossford's going to take over there on the turnover. Gomez had such a good run right there, and uh, it's yeah. just a great defensive move right there. Chunks of yards, but a good strip play. I don't know if you noticed, we used to, you know, you have to start the lawnmower. You know that one? <laughs> Where you get in there and rip it like you're starting yeah. the lawnmower. Oh, yeah. you got to be aggressive. That's one of those, with that. That's one of those filler drills in the summer when you don't have any pads on it. Oh, Coach, I'll never need this until you need it, you know, until that happens. 28-7, 646, and uh, Rossford was short a man, right? Bring an extra guy in. At this point, it's all Rossford here. Keep it on the ground. Bachmeyer's Bachmeyer, back yeah. in. It's about Bachmeyer six and a half, seven on the carry. They're going to run 38 seconds off every one of these plays now, I think. I would not hurry. I think that may be a conversation the coach and the quarterback just had about... Uh, Looks like they're going to snap it with about 10 on the clock here. Yeah. No, he's letting it run down. There you go. They did have a conversation about it. A little misdirection right up the gut. Ramenecker. Ramenecker just having the game of his life tonight. Moving the chains again. First now. Well, I think Bachmeyer running the ball inside early in the game really kept this a balanced attack, and uh, that just makes it very, very difficult for the safeties on I, I Genoa agree. to know what to do. And, you know, we've said it, we've said it the whole game where, you know, Rossford's basically dis dictated what, what has happened in this game. First and ten. Give it to Bachmeyer. Bachmeyer on the carry for the Bulldogs. Second and about three. <laughs> we appreciate all the great sponsors that help with us. Marty, thank you for working with me. And uh, and helping us bring this. I was excited to do this. I, I love doing I, games. I, I've there. known Kyle since he was like I don't know, I think the first grade at Kateri Academy. And uh, oh wow, oh yeah. 
it just works out because you know we try to do as local as we possibly can here and we know all these kids and they're they're just great and it, if we didn't do these games no one would do them they didn't get it that time and gonna lose a couple on that one yeah but they're just comfortable keeping the clock moving and you know you're on the plus side of the field at this point yeah so exactly even if you surrendered on downs it's not a big deal because you has got to go the length of the field yeah kyle kromenacker the quarterback here you know how you see that that young athlete at nine or ten years old and anybody that's got eyes know. on him says wow yeah i mean he, just know you just know i i yeah. I, I think he could have been great at tiddlywinks or any, you know, if it had a ball, bat, club, anything. Just a natural. Third and five right now. Rossford basically been in control all game. They give it back to Bachmeyer. He doesn't get anything. Just a little dive play. But again, the clock's moving under four minutes now. I mean, you're up three scores and the clock's moving. That's all you want. At this point in time, you don't want anybody injured. Yeah, no cramps. <laughs> Even the cramps tonight. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be getting home early tonight. I, I know this could be an ice cream cone night for Jameson. <laughs> The, the it, things in life. That it it may me. be a bourbon night for Ben. That's no, that's tomorrow say. night. Yeah, um, it's, uh, Ohio State, Buckeyes taking on. Uh, oh, he's going to. Back to pass. He's got time. And time and and eats it. It. That's all right. I think he knew that. I give credit to Drews back on that one because you're, you're in a position at 317, and they're probably going to get a uh, probably going to get a uh, field goal here. And, uh, no, they turned it over on downs. That was that was fourth down. Oh, it was. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking yeah. at. Yep. They. Uh, if you're a receiver, you want your quarterback to throw you a 50-50 sure. ball and try and make a play there, but. Then you said, well, you just said two minutes ago about getting hurt. Yeah. Twenty-four. Bye, guys. See ya. again with a nice, ten-yard run on first down through the chains. Gomez, is, Gomez has been able to move the ball real not, well, not, unfortunately. I'm corrected again because that was a very awkward stretch backwards on the spot. That, Second and one. That was a demonstrative left foot spot where he took a giant stride backwards. Yes, Gomez outside. got it that time. This is where not really having a passing game hurts, though, because, I mean, you just don't have a lot to do. And it's hard to move the ball down the field and, exactly. and keep the clock. At bay. And if you're Rossford, you're comfortable letting them run the ball, just tackling them in bounds. Exactly. Worst case scenario, 28 14. That's how they look at it. Gomez running again. Oh, head to hit. head on that one. What a hit. That, uh, Somebody lost air on that one. Gavin Linkus has been an absolute <laughs> a monster from the linebacker okay. position. Yeah. He, he had nine tackles before the half, and he's he's got to be flirting with around 20 at this point. He has just had a monster game defensively. Second down and six. 28-7 is our score. Rossford in control on this one with about two minutes left Storm to go. Back to pass. Long got a guy pass. down the seam. Stoner got popped on that one right yeah. when he hit it, right when he threw it. But uh, yeah, that's going to hurt in the morning. G Gomez had some space though. Yeah. It was open down the middle. Yeah, those hurt. Boy, those hurt. That's when you're glad mom and daddy have a hot tub. You know? Yeah, I, there's nothing makes that feel better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's just not a part of your body that's yeah. designed to get hit over and over. I have an arthritis at 16. It's like, whew. I don't. Whew. You take shorter breaths for a couple days. You don't mm -hmm. take those big deep ones. Yeah. What do we got here? Timeout. It's when you go see the trainer and they say, you know, don't touch it. It definitely hurts. Uh -huh. I don't need you to touch it to ask me if it hurts. Just leave it alone. <laughs> it hurts. Where it's, where it's green and purple there, don't touch. Exactly. It's green and purple here right now, folks, and just don't touch it. We'll be right back. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. Gladio Home Center. A heart 
hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. You'll be glad to know. Gladio, Gladio Home Center. Where are we at here? Third and about seven for the Comets. Stoner's going to throw it again. See, he's... That was some great coverage there by... Uh, yeah, there was a hole in the seam there, but the ball's got to be delivered a little earlier in between the, the deep coverage and the, uh, underneath, the underneath guys. Almost looked like the ball might have got tipped or something. The ball, ball was flopping a lot. Fourth down and seven. And uh, on the... Uh, We're going to go ahead and punt it here. Not the 28, 27 yard line, or no. No, that's 28, 29 yard line. I'm sorry. Rossford's, Rossford's doubting this is a punt. They've got the uh, team up as if it's going to be a fake. Nice punt. Again, that's your uh, Peter, Peter, Peter. Don't touch it. Don't get near it. If you want to run till you uh, remember not to do that, touch that ball, and we'll, we'll, we'll send you out on the track tomorrow. Marty, if, you, if never in my life I ever hear Peter, 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 I'm good. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's like right. the universal call. It's it what is, you it say. is, it is, it is. That's what my that's what my daughter does when I'm like, Haley, go up and clean your room. Peter, 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 and she <laughs> don't, won't go clean the room. Don't, don't touch it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't touch it. Yeah. Or you clean out you clean out the kitty litter box and the kitty I'm gonna litter. have to ask my coaching friends where that came from. I have no idea, but it's been, no, around, but you're it's right. been around yeah. forever. Uh huh. Mike Jamison, Marty Ben, and Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> I can't even say it. Yeah, it's uh. I think we uh, won 38 at this point. Yeah, this is academic. Yeah. Run a couple dive plays, shake hands, and. Uh, You know, when Genoa watches this back in the morning, they're going to look at those lost possessions down on Rossford's side of the field. You know, they, three times they're inside the 20, I think twice around the 10-yard line, and two interceptions, you know, one right at the goal line, one in the end zone, and then the uh, turnover on downs. I mean, th this could be a one-score game exactly. at this point in time, and it, it would look different there. I mean, yeah, if it was a one-score game, Genoa wouldn't have punted. You yeah, three. It. Yeah, exactly. Three empty three plays. Three empty trips. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's hard, it's hard to win when that happens. I mean, you lose the turnover battle and you come away empty. It just makes it tough. Yeah, we're in kneel down mode. They call that victory, folks. Yeah, the victory formation. Everybody's favorite. I think we might have one more kneel down here. Yeah, they're going to have to snap it one more time. And that will do it. Well, i got to thank, once again, all the great people. Tass Electronics, Silver Moon, Soda Grills, you know, a bank, of course. Gladio do it best. Schneider Sons Electric, Fairway Mortgage, IBW, UA50, Mommy Bay Turf, Arturo's Pizza, Fast Track Performance, Wojo's Heating, Graymont Quarry, and A-plus Home Improvements, not to mention the great people at Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski that helped bring you this game tonight. Marty, what are your thoughts? Uh, all around great performance by the Bulldogs and, uh, you know, some disappointing trips by the Comets. But, you know, it, it, you had multiple players on Rossford's team have a great night. You know, the running game got going early with Bachmeyer and uh, Jamar. I, I've never there, seen fireworks in a high school football game. Let me game. tell you something. There's a, there's a behind-the-back story that, that if you have to get on Rossford information – on Facebook about that, oh, that, but that is just some pretty cool stuff here. I, 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 I didn't know this happened. This is fantastic. Yeah, this is great. This is great stuff. And should have brought my popcorn. Just, just proud of, you know, what 
Rossford's been able to put together here. Uh, they beat uh, Elmore last week pretty good. They've had some troubles, but they've they've been able to really put it together. You know, Genoa, I thought Genoa was playing real well, came in tonight, and basically let Rossford dictate everything tonight. Well, again, I, I, I think when you look at the final score, it's going to look significantly worse than what we saw on the field. I mean, they uh, they moved the ball pretty good, but uh, they just they came away empty three times. And right. I, I, I hate to, you know, keep going on that broken record, but that that really changed the way this game looks. You know, this could have been a one-score game for most of the, the evening, and it just wasn't. Um, right from Rossford fumble in the opening kickoff, um, it could have had a whole different feel to it. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, there, there just comes times where, you know, Rossford has had this monstrous dominance in the NBC for the past few years. They've had incredible running backs and uh, having Novotny go down in the first game with a patilla injury. Oh, you're, uh, talking, you're saying Genoa dominating in the past. Yeah. So, got it. So so what, what has been able to happen is, uh, you know, uh, Rossford has just kind of waited for their time and waited for what they can do. You know, four years ago, five years ago, we were talking about Eric Davis. We were talking about, uh, uh, oh, the captain of University of Toledo right now. I, I, I lose my train of thought here, and uh, uh, I, it'll come to me before we're done here. But uh, Nate, Nate Childress. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and all of the good stuff. That, that has been happening in the few years with them. It, it, it really is neat to see what Rossford's going to be able to do and what they're going to be able to put together. And I think They're both saw, young. I think you saw the skill position tonight. Why Jamari Croom was a, you know, quite a matchup problem at wide receiver. You know, Kyle Kromenacker can do a lot with the football. And, you know, he can throw it anywhere he wants. And I thought the Rossford defense stepped up big in a couple of spots. As I said, you know, Linkus had a huge night. And, uh, you know, Ben Morrison stepping in front of an interception, catches a touchdown pass in the corner. It was a, you know, very good stuff. threw a dime. It, it, great effort. But, you know, I think if you're Genoa when you watch it, you'll be disappointed, not demoralized. And, uh, I mean, there are some things to take away that, you know, you went on the road and competed. You just you, you didn't finish drives. And uh, that makes it tough. But uh, I, I, I think the score was significantly more lopsided than the actual game on the field. I totally agree. I totally agree. Our final once again tonight, 28-7. Special thanks to Jay Williams out in the semi-cold. You know, the not real super cold, he's, the semi. He's layered up. He's got the hoodie on. He's, good. he's, he's good. good. And I'm sitting here complaining, you know. It's like I, I need a hot chocolate or something. No, it's beautiful. This is football weather, folks. We'll have a game for you every week of the regular season. We'll see where we're going to be going for uh for the uh, for the uh, playoffs, and you know what, Marty, we're putting together an 80-game basketball schedule this year here in the Northern Buckeye Conference. Spread it out a little bit, do some stretch games, do some play games, and uh, kind of get it all over the line here a little bit. We just appreciate it, Marty. Thank you with Fairway Mortgage. Uh, you're here anytime you want to be here. You do a nice job, and uh, make me sound good. I know. <laughs> I, that, that's a tall order. I know. There's a good Hungarian cuss word in there. We'll figure it out before this is all over. Thank I'm, you once I'm not, again. I'm not you don't really we don't have the delay work. Yet. We don't. We don't. Folks, take care. Don't forget SalinaSportsNetwork.com. We've got some great games on there for you. And uh, we will talk to you very soon, everyone. Take care. Good night, everyone. <laughs>